Hello, so today we're going to be unboxing this Bentley, Bentley for Men in tent. Yep, it's an odor par farm. It's, it's 100 mil, 304 fluid ounces. This item is guaranteed only if it is sold by Bentley fragrances. Authorised dealers flipping out, I didn't buy it off them. Oh, yeah, I bought it off an authorised dealer, yeah. Flipping out with a lot of, a lot of mates in it, and Ethel's and Ains. Yep, so just some package details there. That's the box. Um, yeah, so this is the culprit today. It's the Bentley Men Intense, and <coughs> it's a complete blind buy. It's a cheap one. It was twenty six pounds fifteen. I mean, for that price, this is a complete blind buy. I have no idea what it's like. It's my first introduction to motor vehicle scents. I've never, never s smelt any of the car range. I know there's several out there, Lamborghini, Mercedes, Bentley, all which are way out of my uh, price range. I don't even drive a car. Um, don't really even like cars. It's motorbikes. Motorbikes all the way for me. Um, but anyway, I don't, I don't, I do mo is there any motorbike fragrances out there? Let me know if there is. Uh, the, yeah, well, I'm, I guess uh, BMW make motorbikes. They might have a fragrance or two, I don't know. But anyway, this is <laughs> this is my preamble ramble. Um, yeah, to this, Bentley, um, there's not going to be any finesse to this. It's simply rip off some plastic and dispose of it <laughs> as environmentally friendly as possible. Dumping it in the local ocean, you know, probably that's where it may well end up. Yeah, so what we got here, as I say, it's a blind, oh, it's La Ligue. Right, that's right, okay. They, they do fragrances, they absolutely they do beauty products. So, do we expect something from this at £26? 15 pence. I thought it's it's nice to get a balance actually. You, you, I've been doing a few expensive um, fragrances lately. Oh, well, well, if it's expensive for me anyway. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go to the other end of the scale. Bentley Intense for Men. Okay. Do, do you know, for, for 26 first impressions, copper box. as good as a YSL box um, Y it's exactly the same really it's a different colour similar quality and yeah, of course it's not in the box but looking at that bottle that bottle is, it reminds me of H24 from Hermes similar shape now obviously more rounded there similar diamond shape H24 out of parfum. The the top is metal. Um, it's stainless. They have got a stainless bit there. This feels alley, a bit cheap alley, but maybe even chrome plate of plastic. But yeah, that's that's the look. Do you know that's for for twenty six pound. That's a pretty decent bottle. I have to say, um, there's the Bentley motif. Though we all know it's not about the bottle, it's about the fragrance inside and yeah, it's sort of an ambery rose coloured liquid there. Could main accords, a woody, spicy, warm, spicy, amber rum, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy and fresh, spicy. Smoky leather, balsamic, aromatic scenery. Now on paper, that is everything I like. 
<laughs> that is like pretty much ticking every box. Um, yeah, so though I'm, I'm loath to put this on to be honest, in case this is terrible and I have to go and just I've just had a shot, so you know, I don't, I don't wish to have another. But I'm going to the health spa anyway, so I'll have a shower there. Alright, okay, so let's have a spray. Atomizers are alright. Okay, so immediately to me, that smells synthetic. That's my media. It smells like Davidoff Cool Water, that type of fucking cleaning product fragrance. I'm hoping that's just the opening and that doesn't linger. Please let me know, anyone in the comments, what that what that opening is. That it's almost like chemical detergent. Yeah, I can smell the fragrance behind that, and I'm hoping that that's just something that goes. Um, I feel my breath going a bit actually. I've had many fragrances, even expensive ones, where the opening is just not for me, and that's okay. Um, cause, cause the, the mid and the dry down, um, evolve, like, or transform, and it's just getting through those first five, five minutes of the opening, really. Um, I want to think to this now. So it's been on a few minutes. It is going, that, that, that smell is going the it, it reminds me a bit of the the club new hour for man intense the Aventus clone that had a very chemical opening the the thing that I'm picking up now is this is airing on the side of freshy for me. All all those expectations of the woody, the warm spicy, the amber, the rum, the smoky, the leather, the balsamic and the cinnamon. They, they'll be in overshadow, believe it or not, by the aromatic and the fresh and spicy. Well, I'd say fresh. I wouldn't say it's fresh and spicy. I'd, I'd say it's the fresh note. Top notes of black pepper, bay leaf, bergamot. Maybe that's what it is, the bay leaf. That can be quite... I, I cook with bay leaf and that has quite a bit of fragrance there. Maybe that's exactly what that is. Notes, middle notes of rum, woody notes, cinnamon, clary sage, African geranium. Base notes are incense, leather... Benzerin, patchouli and cedar. It's just too too fragranty, too florally, like um too too cleany. <laughs> I like my fragrance, it's dirty, filthy. Um okay, so pros affordable pro well, there's no question there. Twenty six pounds. Even if you just use that for five times in your life, it's yeah, five times a, a throw, five pound a throw rather. Um, I'd expect to get a lot more out of this, to be honest. So I, I, I would wear it. Yeah, boozy scent with leathery and woody accent. Not smelling the booze. Not smelling the leathery. Not smelling the woody. It's floral for me. It's clean. Um, Fills a room. Possibly. I better ask the cat. Is this filling the room, cat? Four. Four. Hey, he he's fled the room. <laughs> Maybe it is filling the room. Masculine vibe. Possibly, but right now, it's like, it's coming off like a perfume for me. Oi, what do you think? Hey? 
high quality fragrance at a discount designer price okay excellent longevity and surcharge yeah i can imagine that i reek right now last for hours okay well i'm off to, to have a spa sauna and that so that's a good always a good test i feel um how long a fragrance lasts go for a sauna go for a sauna swim steam room jacuzzi and if it's still on after all that you've got you've got a winner there you've got a top performer maybe they could incorporate that into their testing methods when perfumers develop it put it through the health spa test uh received compliments from both males and females okay so they're the pros the cons may not work for everyone am i falling into that category not recommended for blind buys why didn't i read that before don't to be honest 26 pounds for a blind buy for that probably 30 33 dollars if you're in america something like that what can you get for that you can't even buy a happy meal for that at mcdonald's not advertising by the way um pointing out the price of mcdonald's and how expensive that has become like everything else here um but let's not go there Right, so some may find it overpowering. That opening's overpowering for me, definitely. definitely. Maybe there's one of these benzoates or these neons or nuns or souls or ethyls or ons or water. Maybe that's the similar ingredient. Water. <laughs> Reeks of water. Clean water. Um, right, polarising scent. Yeah, I could see why, yeah, yeah, I'm polarised with it now. I just want that freshness to go, I want, I, I, I was so, like, I the need to change this, sorry for getting it, need to change this, um, or have another one uh, as well alongside it, because I'm not getting no wood, I'm getting no warm spicy, no amber, no rum, no smoky, definitely no leather. I don't know what balsamic smells like. I've got balsamic vinegar. Um, does it smell like balsamic vinegar? Not getting any cinnamon. Maybe I've got a dud batch. Maybe I've just got the fresh and spicy in the aromatic batch. Um... I'm not going to write to them. If this is an expensive one, perhaps a word. I'm not. It's no point. Mixed review on the opening smell. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 14, give that a thumbs up and 22 thumbs down. So a lot of people like the opening and a lot of people don't. So I'm not on my own with that. I'm pleased to so it's not just me. Uh, <clears throat> Right, may have an old fashioned or grandpa feel to it. May smell like cough syrup to some. Yeah, I'd like to say the opening's all but gone, though it hasn't, it's lingering. So, the occasion for this, where would I wear this? Could, could that be a gym scent? I wouldn't wear it necessarily in a confined space. That's, yeah, just smelling it now. Confined space. This this would go down well in a flower garden. <laughs> Walking with your family around an old people's home <laughs> in the garden. Um, and hopefully like the, the flowers would <laughs> in the garden would um compete with this over compete with it it's too florally i'm just not getting woody what other occasion would i wear this <sighs> i'm not sure i would to be honest 
So overall thoughts, disappointed, truth be told, disappointed with this. It's, it's not my scent at all. It's, it's, it's that freshy scent that just really grates on me. It's like clean, clean linen, overly clean linen, you know, detergent. I don't know what that that chemical is. That's what that's what it smells like. Chemical. And looking at the back of this, it, there's there's so much, like alpha isomethyl Leo Iron known Ethyloxyl Methyloxinamate Ethyloxyl blah blah a lot. There's a lot in there, and yeah, I just don't. I think the chemical composition of that, I I have to be wary about putting this on me. To be honest, the case of get a mutation of some sort. Hope your cars are better than your fragrance, Bentley. Really do, although I'm probably let's have a look. What does this? Yeah, so many people love it right now. It's freaking choking me to be honest. I really can't wait to get this off. Intense, flipping intense displeasure. So. I'm half tempted to just throw that in the bin there, to be honest. But then I've got, I won't throw it away, I'll give it away, charity shop or something, or a friend. Yeah, we're all friends. <laughs> you see, I, I could be best friends, if I give that him, I could be his best friend ever, or his potential worst enemy, and the way that's got me feeling, that I'd be his worst enemy. However, he 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 loves random sense, and um, he he's not like me. I I buy different bottles and, and experiment and try different occasions. He'll he'll buy one bottle at a time, and he'll just blast that bottle, and then I'll go in the shop and I'll try something else, and I'll blast that bottle. It'll just wear that bottle out and then try something new. And yeah, maybe that's his new signature scent. <laughs> right, Neil, this one's coming your way, mate. All right, thanks very much. All the best, bye.